Hi guys, you probably came across this video searching for replace thermostat on boat or Enmar 160 thermostat, etc. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your old thermostat and replace it with a new one. The symptoms we were experiencing was an engine that would not warm up properly. It should be hanging out around 160 degrees Fahrenheit and it was doing it around 120. Also, our onboard boat heater was very cool and not the normal heat so we knew something was wrong. The first thing you want to do is order the new part so I'll put a link in the video description below for the most popular marine thermostats for these type of engines and next you'll need to remove the housing on the top. So using a socket set we can remove these two large bolts and then we'll need to deal with the cooling hoses next. So we'll remove the three uh, bolts on top of this thermostat housing. Here's a close up of the three bolts that I removed and you can see there's a good amount of rust after 20 years. So I'll be sure to use some anti-seize when I put them back in. Now that the housing's free, uh, we're going to have to use some tips and tricks to remove these cooling hoses because they're really cinched on even after removing the hose clamps here. So I struggled for a little bit before I decided to use some different techniques. One of the techniques you can use here is to use the um, right side of an Allen wrench and try to unpry some of the rubber hose, but be sure to not score the metal or cut any of the rubber housing here. So that's one method. If that doesn't work, I would add some heat. So I'll use a heat gun here and I'll heat up this black hose. Careful not to melt it, but get it very, very hot. The heat will certainly help stretch it out here, but I'll need to be very careful to not poke this screwdriver into the hose and create a, a leak once I repair it. So I'm going to take it to the next step, which is a new trick here. Once it's heated, I'm going to take a large plier here and very gently ro rock it left and right, left and right. Do not dig the teeth in in order to damage that black hose. Just enough to crack it loose here. See how it's moving now? That's all you need. And now you'll be able to remove it by hand. Okay, with that hose removed, I'm able to lift up the housing and pull out the old thermostat. You can see here it's very rusted after 20 something years. So no, no wonder why it needs to be replaced. I'm gonna wipe down the housing here and there's actually a gasket that we'll need to replace. It's a green gasket, so make sure you order that when you order your new thermostat. Good amount of rust on the housing. I decided to remove the entire thing and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with an electric sander and wipe it clean. After using 120 grit sandpaper on electric sander, I was able to clean up a lot of that rust and that'll make it uh, work better and seal better with a new gasket here. There's two gaskets you can buy, a lower gasket and an upper gasket. The upper gasket's the one that I need here. If you remove the lower section, you'll need another gasket as well. Okay, there's the new gasket along with the new thermostat and we'll put the old housing on top. We will attach the cooling lines and sync them up and everything will be good. Okay, there we go. Uh, we did a five minute water test on the hose on the fake lake system and the engine got up to 160 degrees and just sat there perfectly. And so we know we fixed the thermostat problem.